What is going on guys? My name is T Birds and today we are back with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We're gonna be doing a quick match of domination with Cracker Jacker 80 talking about the new Black Ops 3 trailer and all the information we have for it so far. In the episode we're gonna cover uh, all of the things that we know so far. It's basically just the Snapchats. Uh, not too much about the Snapchats because we've already done an episode on it, uh, but mostly the trailer as well as the cover art that we've gotten. So it should be pretty fun, pretty interesting, and let's get it started. Running from the shadow, lost in the night Gotta be brave and have no fear Fighting for the fight Hey guys, so t Brett's here And we're gonna be doing the commentary Like, like Enemy has Alpha. just said Yeah, let's get started We're gonna be talking about the new Call of Duty That, uh, the, the Black Ops 3 that's set to be released Uh, I think to, They're supposed to be the live, or the big reveal on the 26th of April, so be sure to yeah. be ready for that and check that out. And yeah, so we're just going to be talking about basically the Snapchats. I think we're going to talk about Snapchats first, then we're going to go into B. the trailer that we've seen so far, and then finally we're going to move on into the box art that was released. And I think there's also the description too. Be secure. So that's basically what we're going to be talking about we first. We'll get into the Snapchats. If you haven't seen the Snapchats, basically, um, they're, they're not really super Securing important. Alpha. They don't really say a lot about the game. We lost Charlie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But they do, oh, migrating host, jeez. Alright, <laughs> but yeah. So, they don't really say a lot about game, but they do kind of hint at, like, what might come. Um, so yeah. I have a video on that on my channel, so if you guys want to check that out, be sure to uh, check that out. Losing and, Bravo. Yeah, so then, next thing we're going to be talking about a little bit is the trailer. If you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out so that you know what we're talking about. Uh, but basically, the trailer, first of all, it starts out with the... Um, it's just like a background, it's like almost, it's like text, kind of like swinging into like a pattern. UAV inbound. Um, and then, B. yeah, so it's like swinging in this pattern that is shaped like the guy with the, the dual guns, with the dual pistols, like Be advised, every other Black Ops cover. Incoming. And so yeah, so each text, it has different things, there's different aspects, there's a bunch of symbols, Securing like Bravo. Chinese characters. Uh, and so far, they haven't really made a whole lot of sense, down. like you can't really tell a lot about them. But um, Losing alpha. they might have, they might end up having to do with the actual game. So be sure to kind of like, I guess, kind of like, um, We've taken the think about that and think about like what it might mean, and then leave your, leave what you think down in the comment section. Uh, and yeah, we can, we can securing Charlie. Kind of figure out what all this means. So first. Uh, what you can see in the Losing text a. is basically you'll see, um, secured, these, like, there's, there's coordinates, Bravo. so if you, t if you type this yeah. on Google Maps, yeah, you'll find three coordinates, uh, three different sets of coordinates, Losing one C. of them leads to a prison, I, f I forget what country it's in, but, uh, it's, it's definitely a prison, one of them leads to a random school in Singapore, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, Enemy and then Charlie. the final one leads to, I believe it's at the base of the pyramids of Giza, or in, uh, at a, on a bridge near, Egypt near the pyramids, so it's kind of odd. We don't know what it means. I guess this might be locations for the campaign. They might be locations for uh, some maps that you'll see coming back. I know I loved Riot and Advanced Warfare. It's one of my favorite maps. I'd not be too, not be too angry if we saw a uh, prison prison map coming to Black Ops 3. I actually Security. really enjoy that. So yeah. So then another thing that we see is basically these Chinese Maintain characters on the character's arm on the character, uh, Chinese characters and characters but, uh, um, it spells out 54 on his arm now, we don't know what this means it's kinda, to me, it looks like an engraving like, I know sometimes people on their helmets or on their guns they'll engrave, like, um almost Roman numerals they kinda, like, track how many clothes they've had it's kinda just a weird thing, but, um I know a lot of snipers do it so it might mean you have, like, 54 kills something like that not really sure what that means, it might have no, uh, no meaning at all, but it's definitely something to consider. So, the final thing that we see in this trailer is basically just these things coming together, uh, and also they're, they're, they form the main Black Ops cover art, which is also what was leaked. The cover art is, um, basically it's just a standard Black Ops cover, it's got the guy with the dual, dual Mustang, Sally Pistols, uh, sitting there, UAV on standby. and he's, he's basically he's really futuristic, so basically, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link, or not for a link, I'll, well, yeah, I'll link it, and I'll UAV put inbound. a picture on screen now, showing you guys what it Enemy looks like, Charlie. and I'll talk a little Securing bit about a. it, so basically, what I see in this is 
possibly not the Return of the Exo. I wouldn't hey, be too out. Um, happy with the Return of the Exo. I don't know if I'd like it or not. Uh, I really have no preference because I kind of like the Exo, but at the same time, it it kind of puts a weird spin on Call of Duty and it doesn't feel as natural. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be too bad about not seeing that. But yeah, basically. Exo may or may not be coming back, we'll talk about a little bit about that more uh, later. Uh, and then the next thing I saw was on his head, and it was basically, it looked kind of like an Oculus Rift. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, it's basically like a headset with um, almost like a screen that's just on your eyes. So like basically when you're playing, you'll look into the, the Rift, the Oculus Rift, and it'll display the game, the game screen, on your eyes so that you can uh, play in like first person almost. It's pretty cool. Uh, good technology, and it's basically alright, so that's the end of the game, so we're gonna have to go into a second one. Um, well, that's the first round, actually. So. Oh, uh, right, 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 yeah. So basically, the Oculus Rift, like I said, it's the, uh, it's a form of augmented reality, which kind of, it's almost like the same thing as Google Glass, if you've seen that. I know I'm talking about a lot of different things here, but, uh, Domination. Google Glass basically is a projector, on glasses that projects an image onto your eye. It's almost like a heads-up display. So it's, this would be really helpful to see uh, in the next Call of Duty for, if, if it were augmented reality because it would allow you to basically do sort of things like you could put up um, sort of like if, if you guys like a thermal site, it would basically you could do that and you wouldn't have to have it as an attachment. You could just like all, all the time see thermal. It would almost be like the, uh, the predator kill streak from I think it's was it Ghost? Yeah, it's pretty cool from that one map, that one DLC map in Ghost, it would be a lot I mean, like that, you'd just be able to see in thermal all the time, and things like that, so it'd be kind of cool to see, you might be able to see through walls, and different things like that, but it's just kind of augmented reality, and it makes things appear in there that aren't actually there, and it also allows you to like do different overlays and cool things like that, and uh, kind of change what you see uh, with, your, with your vision like, when you're in battle, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool technology, and I think it would definitely be a good thing to uh, put in the next game and it added a little bit of a different twist it's almost like the uh, the black light ability uh, that you have to see through walls if you haven't seen my video on that you can check that out too um, yes yeah, so I'm kind of going into a lot of stuff here there's a lot of stuff to talk about but yeah I think the next thing that we're going to talk about um, the character is just like the arms because the arms look extremely almost robotic like I feel like they might, they might not, it might not be a human actually, it might like be some sort of, um, some sort of like robot guy, so you might, you might have, may, you may, be, sorry, you may be a human, but you physically have some robot parts, um, which is kind of cool, I don't know if I'd like that or not, it's kind of like, it's, it sounds to me like you're going to be a Terminator, which, I don't know, like Terminator's just, it, it would be a cool thing to see, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of like, I feel like that's too cliche, and it might be a lot like uh, Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, you know, like, they took over the drones and the campaign and stuff like that. Alright, so now we talked about the box art, the actual trailer, and the Snapchat, and we're going to go next into uh, what we would want to see in the next Call of Duty, and I'm going to let Cracker Jacker 80 take over here, so feel free. Yeah, so... We're playing Black Ops 2 now for a reason, that's because uh, we both agree that this is probably the best Call of Duty that we played. Um, and, you know, we want to see a lot of the uh, things that are in this game in Black Ops 3, for example. All the guns are pretty balanced uh, in this game, and a lot of the newer Call of Duties like Advanced Warfare and uh, Ghosts, they didn't do such a great job on that as this game did. Uh, other than the snipers, the snipers are pretty overpowered in this, but... Uh, this game had really good, great guns that were balanced and, you know... You could use them all without really having difficulty, and so we want to see that. And also the maps, um, uh, in Dance Warfare, they kind of drift away from three-lane maps, uh, but they've kind of come back with the new DLCs. But in this next Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, we want to see more uh, three-lane maps that are easier to play, and we're more used to them instead of the different kind of maps. UAV inbound. But uh, other than that, I mean, I really want to see a game that's you know, kind of fast-paced, but Losing not as fast-paced as Advanced Warfare because in Advanced Warfare, they're, since they're, um, you know, you can double jump and stuff like that, it's all harder to get a lot of, a, like, a kill streak or something like that because Losing people can come behind you with their uh, impacts and just boost and it's pretty, 
it's pretty hard to get a big kill streak without dying a lot. So in the next game, I do not want to see um, that, and also I do not want to see Exos because those definitely are not supposed to be in Call of Duty. And we're kind of veering away from what you know Call of Duty is supposed to be, which is supposed to be a modern or past game, I guess. Um, but it's, it's, it's been confirmed that White House 2 will be set in the future, so it's not going to be in the past yet. But I'm hoping that Call of Duty will eventually go into the past, but at this current moment, it's not going to happen. And, yeah, other than that, it's just a game that's fun, pretty easy to play, and, yeah, do you have any opinion? Well, yeah, what I was thinking is basically, so like you are saying, you want to see it in the past. If you didn't see my theory on the, um, the next Call of Duty, oh god, I'm getting wrecked. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> if you haven't seen my, my theory on the trailer and the Snapchat and stuff, uh, be sure to check that out, because it kind of goes into detail about, like, maybe yeah, it might done. go in the past. So I was hoping to see that same thing come to you, like, where you start out in the future, but then it'll go into the past, like, you'll go, you'll get a time travel device, and you go back in time to, like, the World War II era, so you'll be able, it'll be kind of like the Black Ops 2 campaign, where you, uh, you're able to go back in time to do some missions with Alex Mason, while at the same time you're in the future trying to figure out the stuff with Menendez and, uh, with David Mason, so I think it's Losing cool C. that they kind of like added that and Black Ops needs to play in the past in the future, and I hope that they kind of like bring that into the next game as well, and as, as well as the um, the like choose your own story kind of thing, because I liked at the end of Black Ops 2 how depending on what you did, it would change the game, so if, if you like shot someone, um, if you shot, I think, I think it was, I forget what his name was, but if you shot the guy in the campaign, Agents. it would take him down. Uh, and it would change the whole story, so like, um, Alex Mason actually survives at the end, and Woods doesn't die, or something like that, so it, it changes a lot, and I hope they bring that back in, uh, Black Ops, Black Ops 3, so yeah. Yeah. So is there anything else that we need to say about it? Uh, I really honestly think they just kind of bring back the same game as Black Ops 2, because I don't think there's really a ton they can improve on. Let's back at this lobby here, so we can just finish this up. Um, but yeah, I think they should basically kind of do the exact same thing as they did with Black Ops 2. Maybe tweak a little bit of things, like um, add new guns and stuff like that. But I really love the gun balancing in Black Ops 2. They could have done that better. Like just the fact that you can take like a 5.7 and go up against like an M8A1 and just completely wreck each other is just ridiculous. Because there's literally no weapon that's overpowered, except for like you said the snipers, and no weapon that's underpowered, which is a really good thing to see. Also, just the standard maps and the DLC maps were crazy good, uh, really fun to play. And then also Zombies, uh, Black Ops 2 is amazing. The DLC maps and Zombies, I honestly don't think could have been better. Um, I think they did exactly what they needed to. The only one I didn't like a ton was Die Rise, but uh, they're, I think they were kind of getting their footing there and just kind of learning like the ways of, um, of Zombies DLC maps. And so, yeah, I mean, everything was perfect. I hope they, I know they're bringing back zombies, so I hope they bring back some good DLC maps like uh, Origins, Buried, and Mob of the Dead, stuff like that, and as well as just, like, good DLC maps and what we uh, what we expect to see. So I don't think they're going to lead us uh, lead us wrong. I think they're going to do a pretty good job of bringing this to us. Uh, and, yeah, I hope it's just a great game in general. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. Yeah, I'm thinking... I just hope Treyarch learns from this game, you know, learn the few mistakes that this game had and just improve on them, keep the things that were great, and make a great game. So that's all I have to say about that. All but, right. Yeah. Sounds good. So, so that's our episode for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.